Tianye. The four-axis drone uses GPS precise positioning system. Equipped with high-precision gyroscope and positioning is more precise. 1080p HD camera stabilizes the high-definition image transmission. Real-time capture every moment, wonderful moment. Intelligent following function, liberating your hands. 360-degree interest points around. Easy to shoot, cool blockbuster. Unfold the upper arm of the drone's fuselage and deploy the lower arm. Turn on the power on the bottom of the drone. Place the drone on a horizontal plane. Turn on the remote control switch. Push up the joystick on the left side of the remote control first, then push it down. When the green light in front of the aircraft is always on, and the red light on the back is flashing. It means that the frequency is successful. Press the geomagnetic calibration button once. The green light in front of the drone and the red light behind it will flash slowly at the same time. The drone turned clockwise and horizontally three times. Then the green light of the drone will flash and the red light will be on. When the light of the drone is flashing, the GPS signal is start to search. After the search is completed, the light of the drone is always bright. Connect Wi-Fi and enter app. Ensure that the number of connected satellites in the interface of the app is greater than none. At this time, the interface of the app is displayed as the fixed point mode. Wait for the interface to pop up a prompt box and then click OK to unlock the flight. The left and right remote poles of the remote controller are pulled inward at the same time. At this time, the four blades rotate at the same time, and the lock is unlocked successfully. Three gear speed switching can adjust the speed of flight arbitrarily. Photo key, short press photo. Video key. Short press the video button once to start recording. Short press the video button again to end the recording. When switching to headless mode, it is easy to fly the drone back without identifying the direction of the flight. Scan the QR code on the instruction to download and install the software. Android scans Google QR code and install the software. Apple system scans iOS QR code and install the software. Enter the mobile phone settings options. Open the wireless network. Search for the device. Connect. Connect successfully. Exit the settings options. Open the software on the phone. Enter the software. Click the pointing flight icon on the app surface. At this point, the app switches from the image transfer interface to the map interface. Stretch and enlarge the position of the flight in the map. Then click the pen icon on the right. You can select a single waypoint or a continuous waypoint, and then set the flight path and range of the drone by drawing lines. After recording the waypoint, click the send icon under the app interface. The drone will automatically fly from the initial point to the waypoint and complete the preset flight path. By clicking the Smart Follow icon in the app's interface, then clicking on the humanoid icons, the aircraft's camera will automatically lock the target and follow the flight. When the orbiting button on the remote control is pressed, the aircraft automatically takes the current fixed point as the origin, so that the head is turned toward the origin. At this time, the drone in a stationary state. First move the rocker on the left side, then release the rocker. The aircraft will automatically rotate counterclockwise. First move the rocker on the right side, then release the rocker. The aircraft will automatically wrap around clockwise. By continuously dialing the side fly rocker on the remote control, 
you can change the speed of the drone around and change the direction of the drone. Increasing the radius of the surrounding of the aircraft can be achieved by turning the forward rocker of the remote control. Reducing the radius of the aircraft surround can be achieved by turning the remote's back rocker. Controlling the height of the aircraft surround can be achieved by turning the joystick of the remote control's throttle. Press the key to return. The drone at a minimum altitude of 15 meters or so to return to the takeoff point. When the four lights at the bottom of the drone start to flicker, indicating that the drone is not enough power. At this time, the drone will return automatically. When the drone emergency during flight need emergency landing, you can stop the drone from flying and make a forced landing by pressing the stop button on the remote control.